Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday. It is the first day of the second marking period, the third marking period, the first day of the second semester. We're halfway done. And um, as we welcome ourselves to Tuesday, the most productive day of the week, it's not Monday, it's not Friday, it's not Wednesday, Tuesday, the most productive day of the week. That's why we do these videos. I have a simple message for you that I want to try to explain to you so that you can understand how to really get things going. Um, and the message is simple. Get into the groove. Get into the groove. This is the best time to do it. You have a clean slate today. You have a clean slate this week. You're starting off new. Um, you may be taking another class as a second part of a two-part class, but you're, you're in a position to start over. And my advice to you is to start to put yourself in a groove. Get in a groove. Get into the groove so you can create some momentum so that you can move forward. Now, let me explain this to you. It's, it's, it's really simple. Let me give you a, a visualization here uh, because it's winter right now, and we, just went, we were hit with some snow. And um, I want to look at it from this perspective. All right. Let's say your job is to take out the garbage and your job is to get the garbage from the garage all the way to the to the street so that so that the garbage man can come pick up the trash. Right. Um, and you wake up in the morning, it's five o'clock and there's snow on the ground. It's about 24 inches of snow, two feet of snow. And you have to maneuver this garbage can. Pull it down the driveway and to the front main street. The thing is, you're the first person to encounter this snow. And so you're taking the garbage can and you're trying to maneuver the garbage can down the driveway. And as you're doing that, you're making brand new footprints. You're making headway. You're making a brand new trail as you drag this garbage can down the driveway. Now, when you get to the street, you're all set. You're done. You've, you've done what you needed to do. But it was a little rough for you. You know, your socks got wet, your pants are wet, you wore boots, you might not wear boots, but it was it was a treacherous process. But on the way back up the driveway, are you going to create a new trail of snow? No, you're more than likely are going to walk in the footprints that you already created. Walking into that groove that you created to get back to the garage. And let's say you get back to the garage and then you realize, oh, I forgot to take the recycling out. So you take the recycling back down the driveway. What are you more than likely going to do? To be efficient, you're going to walk in the same, tra the same tracks, in the same trail that you already created. You've already created a trail, so you're not going to do anything differently because you want to be effective. It's cold, and you're trying to be efficient as possible so you can get back in the house to do what you need to do. Therefore, you're going to walk along the same tracks, Footprints that you've already made to get the recycling down to the street. And you're going to follow that same trail back more than likely. Getting into the groove. Getting into the groove. It's kind of like the car in the snow. If it's 4 o'clock in the morning and you're the first car to get out into this 24 inches of snow, it's going to be tough for you, four-wheel drive or not. But you're going to get, you're going to create a groove. Then the second car is going to say, oh, I'm going to follow the same tracks. And the third car is going to say, I'm going to follow the same tracks. Before you know it, before you know it, the entire street is clear. It's clear enough for anybody to walk up and down the street, and that's probably the best way to go if you're walking, driving, skiing, whatever it is that you do in your community in that street during the snow. You create the groove. You get into the groove. And so I'm saying this to you today. As this new semester is upon us, get into the groove. The thing is, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a couple weeks. It's going to take going down the driveway, up the driveway, down the driveway. It's going to take other cars going before you in order for you to get into the groove. The way you get into the groove is three things you need to do. You need to consider your patterns, your habits, and your rituals. Your patterns, your habits, and your rituals. You need to be doing something every single day all day to get to that goal. You need to be doing a, a, a adopting a habit that's going to get that you're going to do every day, all day. I wake up at three o'clock in the morning every day, all day. That's just part of my ritual. Is what I do. And then the first thing I do when I get up is I use the bathroom. And the second thing I do is I brush my teeth. It's a pattern. And this is how I start my morning. Then I might give me some orange juice. Then I start making lunches. There's a pattern to my system so that I can be most efficient. 
You got to do the same thing in your math class. You got to say do the same thing in your and your approach to schooling. English, writing a paper, turning in a project, turning in work. Create a pattern for yourself. The first thing you do when you get home, empty out your book bag. That's what I'm talking about. In the morning, first thing, go over your schedule for today. What is What are my classes expecting of me today? You have to create a system of patterns, habits, and rituals as you approach your day in order to get into the groove. Because once you get into the groove, you create momentum. And there's nothing that's going to stop you once you create your momentum. So that's the message of the day. Listen, welcome to Tuesday, the most productive day. In order to be productive, you got to get into the groove. You got to create some momentum so that you can be successful, so that you can reach your goal, so that you can, you can complete an activity or a task. Simple as that. Welcome to Tuesday. Five minutes. Holla at your boy. Six minutes. <laughs> have a good one. Have a good one.